I yeah. just called the police. And um, can you stop harassing us, please? I'm not, not harassing you. Like, you're you're not, you want to see what the side of my, my car person? looks like? Because you park your car here and you're not supposed to. Dude, she just came from work. She's unloading and she's leaving. She no, that car here. was here this morning when I left. It was not. She had there to work. No parking. People. You know how bad the parking is here. That's why we're supposed to park in the street. There, there, there is, is no parking. parking. The well, street. then you walk down a ways and park and don't Wait, be so lazy. There wasn't because they closed You know it. what? You it's know what? It's not laziness. I, I, sh I should have somebody just ring your car. Just scrape the whole side of it. You know, I feel like you're harassing us right now. Don't be you're surprised. On my door. I don't really appreciate that. I don't give a sh what you well, appreciate. We no, I don't. The like, homeowners have sent you notices you know, over I'm, and you know, over and uh, over uh, again. Do you have something I have personal against us? Because the whole neighborhood parks their car. And I have pictures of that your... That is not true. Of your car in front of your house. Do you want me to Yeah, for to you? 10 minutes. No, no, no over it was there overnight. Right. You know what? It's going to be here overnight. I don't care. It's That's gonna be house. here. And I've care. called the police. Never, They're coming out. I never come to you and harass you, but it's always you that have problem. No. You have something everybody else in this neighborhood Okay, everybody else parks. No, they don't. Parks. Nobody else parks. Yeah, she house. parks her car in front of her house for about fifteen minutes. No, she does that at night time. Well you better move it. And you did it overnight. We'll wait till move the cops it. come here and then I'll move it. Move it. You know, move don't come like the door car. anymore. Come. These HOA thugs are out of control. This is OG Karen, OG Karen uh, knocked on the door and said, I have called the police and then threatened to do criminal activity against her own neighbors and cited the HOA in the process of doing this. There's more video, here it is. Go to your own house, please. Yeah, and can you move your car? How you stop talking and go over there and mind your business, no. please? move the car. It's it not in your business. way right now. She can't, can't move, move it. it. My she can't move the car and you're just standing behind her. You want me to get the other neighbors to come out here? No, I just, I would appreciate it if you just go to your house and have her move her car peacefully and don't come bugging me anymore. Well then Mark, I'll bug you as much as I freaking want and you, I'm an attorney, I'm suing you. Okay, go for it, do whatever you want. And your car. I think it's time for us to start considering prosecuting members of the HOA under the RICO Act. This is organized crime. These individuals are relentless. Not only did she knock on the door, she said, here's what I'm going to do to your car. It was a criminal matter at that point. Uh, Jackson, interesting stuff here, uh, but not abnormal. We've seen this from other HOA Karens before. They see something they don't like, they end up either A, getting the police involved or B, trying to affect a criminal aspect against the individual they don't like. Thoughts here. Well, and, and, and not only that, but you better let them do it too. And you better let them talk to you and treat you <laughs> however they feel like. Because if you if you stand up for yourself, you're gonna be even in more trouble. You know, it's always, you know, she said, I'll do whatever I want. I'm like, oh, okay, well, if I do whatever I want, then there shouldn't be too much of an issue, then there should be. But uh, they look like they were in a pretty decent neighborhood. You know, they weren't like really struggling. So she's probably just bored. You know, living <laughs> off of living off of investments in retirement or whatever it is. And she's just, you know, she just needs something to do. That's all it is. All right. You know, you know what they say, Jackson. Find your toy. You want something to play with? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go.